The good news is though, that that uh, boat is approaching even as the conditions worsen, the rain pours down, we're seeing the streams of water cascading down Beltway 8 here. Again, a thank you to everyone who has stayed with us uh, through what has been a first of its kind experience for the KHOU crew. Our team back at the station, which is on Allen Parkway, uh, evacuating the building because of more than two feet of water that has come in. That, that's our studio, our lobby, our newsroom, all of it. Um, you know, it's hard not to think about my desk there and my pictures of my daughters, depending on how high that water gets. Um, you know, I don't know if, if those are going to make it, but they are, in the scheme of things, very trivial. They are items. Um, and that's a reminder for folks too. Yes, you have stuff in your house. Yes, it probably means a lot to you family pictures, family heirlooms, nothing is more valuable than your life and the lives of your family members, those you love, your friends. Um, we're still kind of in a holding pattern on this boat uh, as it makes its way. If you can hear that, that is the airboat firing up. We're hoping headed this direction. There he's getting on course. I suspect they probably had to load up with rescue gear. Here they come. <laughs> uh, talking to or hearing from Chief Art Acevedo early this, earlier this morning, again, hours ago, he was talking about hundreds of rescues, 500 rescues across the city. The ones we witnessed in the Greens Point area um, involved, you know, a much smaller boat, HPD dive team crews going apartment to apartment, uh, trying to get anyone who flagged them down. This is a harrowing situation for everyone, for first responders, for folks who are trapped in cars, for folks who are trapped in their homes. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna say honestly, even for the crews, the news crews, who are out here showing you the conditions. Um, sometimes we get flack because yes, we are out in it. We are doing the things we're telling you not to do. We do it so that we can show you how bad the conditions are so you do not attempt them. Um, I wanna say a, a very sincere thank you to our managers who have done their best to keep us out of danger when we've been in dangerous situations. They've told us to leave immediately. Here we go, the airboat for the Harris County Sheriff's Office now approaching the semi that has been stalled here, uh, headed east or headed westbound in the eastbound lanes. They're trying to navigate, like I said, a very narrow channel here to get to the window of the cab so that they can get to the driver who is inside. Uh, I don't have any word on, on how long he's been there. Um, or what kind of condition he's in. I'm sure he's very, very wet, very cold, very frightened. Um, I can't, I am terrified for him. So I, I can't imagine uh, the level of fear he has here, but these uh, kudos, incredible kudos to these two sheriff's deputies who are risking themselves on this boat in very deep water to pull this driver to safety. We wanna thank all first responders who are out there, who are doing the same, who are risking their lives. Um, these, these deputies, they weren't on their way here. Um, thank goodness they were in the right place at the right time. I saw them coming on Beltway 8. I flagged them down, told them about the situation, and now they are here saving this man's life. Uh, you see him throwing some of his stuff to them. Anything dry, anything dry. I'm sure there's not a lot dry left in that cab. <sighs> and here he comes. I feel like I can finally breathe. Kind of a sigh of relief. That he is okay. 
and his fate will not be the same as the man who lost his life here a year ago in almost the same situation. Semi-driver going into high water, not knowing how, just how deep it can get in this area. And who's to say if rescue crews weren't here, if these guys didn't stop, that his story would be different. So thank you to everyone out there, all police, all fire, all sheriff's deputies, any other agencies who are out there, neighbors who are taking in neighbors, who are helping folks who get stranded. Thank you. We're gonna see if we might be able to talk to him as they make their way uh, back down here. Uh, I imagine he is going through a cycle of emotions right now. Um, it has become They got him. Fine. <sighs> Sir, thank God you're okay. Yes, How does it feel to be on land? One number, one number. <laughs> yeah. What went through your mind when you saw that water? Lord help me. Lord help me. Lord help me. Just get me out of here safe. I'm so glad that these guys were on hand, that we were able to direct them to you. No doubt. No. Um, did they tell you this is the same spot a year ago where another driver died? Most definitely, most definitely, said, most definitely. I just thank God that you guys was right here to get me, put me back on land safe. I just appreciate you. Can I, this is going to sound weird, but can I hug you? I'm so happy you're okay. Thank, thank you, you so much. Stay, stay safe, stay dry. Uh, the best possible outcome there. This fella, uh, now on, on, on the ground, where, where will you go now? Are they, are you guys going to take him somewhere? 